Hi guys and welcome on board the MSC Virtuoso. So in this video we're going to do kind of like a walkthrough around this absolutely amazing, beautiful ship and just show you what's what. Um, as we go through and we point out some things, we won't go into like full details because we have got so many, if you go back there's so many other videos going into like great deal about like the restaurants and, and things like activities to do on the ship and things like that. But, so the MSC Virtuosa is an Italian cruise line and it holds 6,300 guests, I think it's 6,334 to be precise, and just for this scale of things as we show you around, currently the number of passengers whilst we've been on board is 2,400, is that correct? Yep. So yeah, just bear that in mind as we show you around, but come, come aboard with us and let's go have a look. So currently we are on deck 19 right at the back of the boat as you might be able to tell by the trail off there So this is like the fun deck we want to call it. So you've got this Himalayan bridge <laughs> Yes, we've done this Go watch the sea day things to do kind of video Oof, that was scary and free and free <laughs> and then also you've got uh, there's three big water slides as well um, and then there is also like you want to say like this is a kind of a kiddie little water park kind of thing you know where the kids run through you, you know there's a little pool and bits for them to run through it's just being nice for the little kids there's like the things that fill up with water and so don't get too close to them <laughs> and just bear in mind that for the water slides and the bridge we'll go around the back and show you but you have to register to do that you just have to sign your name and they give you a little wristband that you need to wear if you want to be able to go back on the slides and the bridge but they did say if if you lose you just go and ask them for another one but don't forget to register before, before you do that they won't let you on right so if you're facing the water slides turn right just come up this little ooh, it's a bit rocky today to see dave we're not drunk and then just turn left up this little hallway at he's just setting up now there's a gentleman there with the blue table. Just go to him for your wristband, for your water parks and your Himalayan bridge. And then there's the exit to two of the slides. Uh, the, the other one is just where that bowl is there. Sorry, it's the music slide. But I think is it two of them are ringed. I can't remember now. We've done that much. Well, I think you can fit two of them on in a ring. One is just a single ring, and then the other one is, I think, no ring at all. Uh, we've done so much Rachel. on this ship, I keep, yeah. ship, I keep forgetting. <laughs> right, so we're just on deck 18 now, just below the water slides. You've got another, they're calling them a whirlpool. I always call them a hot tub. It's just like a seating area here with a bar. It's only one hot tub. For some reason, the other one's got like a wooden bench there for some reason. But uh, they do have at night time, they have like a, a, a DJ. This is his ones and twos. They have it all like lit up and that. It's not like a rave party. It's just if you want to come out and listen to a I bit of music. Say, like we've popped out a few nights when he's been on, and it's not like everyone's kind of like drunk dancing like no. kind of thing. It's just like everyone was just chilling with a drink and just like listening to some music. So it's not it's not round. No, but then I'll just peek over and show you the rest of deck 17 below. So there's plenty of seating at the back. There's also if you come here early enough. There's two, four, six. There's eight of these white beds, like with, um, a, I'm not going to say a mattress, a padded cover on them. So if you can get here early enough, grab one of them if you're going to do a lot of sunbathing. But you've also got a little pool there. Uh, but no, it's nice to just sit here and watch the sea go by because you can't sit at the front of the boat and we will tell you why after. Right, so you've now got the Attic Club as you enter deck 18. So you've just got like a seating area here. To be honest, we haven't been here at night because we've been so busy. I, I think we walked past once and they are having like a kids like mini disco. I was just there. about to say, it looks like they've got disco lights and a... Now this, uh, I'll take about that one inside. Yeah. This ship now looks absolutely amazing for kids. They've got everything from all ranges from like babies up until like your... Late teens. Late teens, yeah. So it does look, we'll show you around now because this is part of it, but it looks absolutely amazing for kids. Yeah, so we just here now you've got like 
He says the teen club and the young club. Uh, once again, I'm guessing they've got like a, they have music on because they've got like the lights up above. They've got a foosball table and just some seating area. They do have activities for like the teens and the young club. I can see one over there, like a dance crew and stuff like that. On the first day of getting on the ship, we did notice as we walked through, there was a massive queue down there. So I think obviously you have to register parents' names, contact numbers, yeah, things like that. Yeah. So I think you, I don't think you can just take them. I think you have to register them, but do, do it at the fir on the first day you get on board. So as you exit the attic club, You've got a bird's eye view of the sports facilities. We'll show you that when we get down there. But then on your right, it's like, I'm guessing, because we haven't got kids, I'm guessing it's part of like your kids' club, because it's very, very Lego y. I can see a young club door over there, web creator room. I'm guessing this is like part of you. Oh, the baby club. Oh, that was where you register as well, the desk. Oh, yeah, so just this desk here. But yeah, that's where you can drop your kids off for the day if you want to just. Or have for a, the week. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, yeah, if you want to. But no. Kev did see about dropping me off for the week, but I was too old. <sighs> Unfortunately, she says she she looks young, but I don't. <laughs> I did, we we didn't fool them. So you've also got like this cute little feature here, like this little like maybe like princesses or something made maybe. out of Lego. So that's cute. You can sit here and the kids can have like photo taken, or I can. Um, and then you've also got make sure you keep a look, look out for this like. Mascot. mascot or something it's like the the mickey mouse of like a disney cruise say so you see this like dressed around and we saw him in the uh, him or her in the other night in the grand the gallery, hall thing the grand hall thing yeah where the light up ceiling is and he was like dancing and the kids were like kind of like running after him and stuff uh, so yeah keep a look out for him because like the kids can have a photo with him as well and then you've got this little room here i'm guessing it's cabin 12 006, it looks like they've got some games in there. I can see some like Nintendo Switch games and stuff. I don't know if it's like a little, they've got bean bags and stuff. I don't know if it's like a little chill out lounge for if there's a paid club or something, maybe. So, uh, yeah, you can always leave your kids in here and play Nintendo Switches all day. And then just past like the kiddie club area, you've got the adults only lounge, which is the Sky Lounge, which is a nice feature because if you don't want like screaming kids everywhere. But we've been in here a couple of times, it's just a nice like lounge area. A nice city. And it's got lovely views as well all the way around. And this just looks out over the pool, like the main pool and the cinema screen, but we'll show you them when we get to them. But another great feature on board the ship is this kind of screen here. So they're dotted about everywhere on the ship. And this basically is what you can get on your app and what you can also get on your tv in your room and it's just it's handy if like you haven't got your phone on you if you've forgotten it so you just you can click on and see what's going on today so that's your why is it not working oh, there we go theater shows uh, so that's saying what's on friday the 24th so it's basically it is what's on your phone in your app but if you haven't got a phone or like you say you haven't we've not got ours on us now so we can have a look and also you can boot these shows all on this screen. Yeah. All you do is have to scan your card on the little reader there. So that's not a handy feature. If you, you know, an older customer yeah, maybe who doesn't right. have a phone or doesn't like to use their phone. Yeah, so not only can you look, you can actually book your, you know, your slot for a show. And if you go on daily activities, that's everything today, hour by hour of what's on from morning till late tonight if you wanted to so there's a list of everything there and it tells you where the location is as well and like i said these are dotted about everywhere on the ship so you, you'll easily find one yeah because there's one here there's one there <laughs> we've passed another one just here yeah. and that's just in this corridor so there are and loads if, of them and if you're struggling with anything the staff on here are amazing so just just ask them and they'll help you so just to the right of the sky lounge the adult only bar it's not open at the moment but they do have like a cigar room got the smoking room just through this door. We have seen this eye just when a, work, a worker walked in. That was hard to say early in the morning. Uh, it was just a little lounge with like leather seats and stuff like that. I think there is, there obviously will be a smoking area on the open deck Yeah, there is. I'm not sure where it is. I can't remember seeing it, can you? Nope. Uh, but if we do see it as we pass by, we you'll smoke, you'll so find them. You'll see other people we'll smoking other there. People smoking. <laughs> but another amazing, amazing feature on this ship is the lift slash elevator system it is so quick so amazing and what you do is you press 
Um, there you again. go, it's turned on now. So you press, so we're deck 10. So what you do is press your number, and instead of waiting for any lift, you'll come up with like A or D, and it tells you what lift to get in. So there's no going down, no stopping, like it'll just, it's so easy. And honestly, the wait for the lifts on here is, well, we don't have to wait, do no. we? We, oh, we don't need to get in the lift now, but if I press the button, you'd literally, 30 seconds and it will tell you your lift over here to get into it and there's just no going to different It's a lot smoother. Really. It's just a lot, of, yeah, it's really smooth, but not seen that system before anywhere and yeah, it's really good, so great feature on the ship. Okay, so we're now on deck 16. So apologies before, I keep forgetting this. They don't have a deck 17 because it's an Italian cruise ship and it's in Italy, 17 is an unlucky number. So they've skipped that one out, so yeah. The pools and the beds, what I mentioned before, are on deck 16, which is the, this is the Horizon Pool and Amphitheatre. So we'll just take you straight through here now. Now I've corrected myself. I keep forgetting that. I think I did it on P&O, P I ownership as well, because that didn't have a deck eight, because that was an unlucky number. We have spent a lot of time on deck 16, let me say. So why have we spent a lot of time on deck 16, Stace? Because of all this, you've got like the basketball, the football court, you've got like the arcade games over there, but we'll come and show you. So let's start off by, how do you get into these doors, Stace? Let's walk up to them. Do they open? No, they don't. Yeah. Do they open now? Hopefully they do. There yeah, we, there go. we go. We've done that many a time, let me tell you. We've like, why won't these doors open? So this is your five-a-side court, your basketball court. They also have badminton in here. I think they've had a few other games in here as well. They have um, like arranged five-a-side matches and stuff going on. Kev got a football in the back to hear the other day. Yeah, somebody kicked a football in my back. Thanks for that if you're watching, whoever you were. But no, you know, it does get arranged. They have activities going on. Oh, there you are. You will see that we've, we've done a full thing of this in the... Oh, she got it. That was the first take, by the way, people. So yeah. She did very well there, but uh, it's quiet now. It's, it does get quite busy in here with uh, teenagers kicking the football about. Yeah, but also you can come in for free at your own leisure, you don't have to pre-book or anything. No. But take a look in the magazine, because they also have like, uh, I think it was Father's Day on board the ship, and they had like five a side, yeah. like for the dads and things yeah, like that. Yeah, they do have arranged have, like, matches. You know, basketball on, like some entertainment team on board. So check that out as well, or you can just come in, like you say, on your own. Yeah, go on Stace, you do the honours because you have to wave them as well to get out. You ready? Yeah, there you go. Obviously this is so the balls are flying out. So she can yeah, exactly. Out. But then, ooh, doesn't want me to come out. <laughs> but then straight opposite this, this is your like your fun pass area. So uh, we have done a video on this. I won't go into detail about this, but you've got the VRs. They're really fun. The XD Interactive Cinema, that's really fun. You've got two proper, like, full-size F1 um, simulators. These are fun, but, oh, these are hard. I just crash constantly. But, yeah, before people say, how much is it for that? Again, we cover that in more in detail yeah. in, the, in the video, because we'd be here all day now if we had to try and explain that again. So just take a look for that video for yep. how it works payment-wise. But uh, we also have two... Now... I'd say full size bowling alleys. It's been that long since we went bowling. Is that longer? Does, it's does a that seem? Bit shorter. It's a pretty decent size, but I wouldn't yeah, say. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a little bit narrower. I, I don't know. Yeah, but don't worry if you're thinking, well, you're in a ship, it rocks, blah blah blah. The the lanes are automatic on your little touch screens just there, so. You know, if you were playing with kids or whatever, you could put it up for the kids and then knock it down for you or just leave it up like we did because yeah. you'd score no points on a C day. But you do also have, there's a few here, like um, you pay, just pay, uh, pay to play games. You've got like a couple of dance ones, the basketball, air hockey, and there's some more just around this corner we'll show you now. So they have got a couple of like Teddy kind of grab and go machines like with these are more expensive ones, but they're two pound a go. I think the Teddy machines are two pound a go as well, which is quite expensive for a Teddy, which you normally pay like 30p a go for at Alton Towers. Right, so these are also other pay-to-play games. 
that you can do like individually if there's quite a view. We haven't actually had a go on these ones. As Kev said really, they're quite expensive compared to like normal arcades back home. Yeah, that's like £2.50 a go. Yeah, soon no. adds up if like you've got kids that yeah. want, I want another go. Because these, if you've got a fun pass, I think this comes off as well, off your fun pass uh, credit. Yeah. I think you can just use your normal card as well maybe, but if you've got the fun pass, these all come off your fun pass credit. Just silly little things to just break up the day a bit. So just past the arcade, you've got the gym. Uh, there's a lot of people in there at the moment. I won't show you. I'll try and get a pan over when it's quieter. They've got all weights, running machines, punch bags. They do, um, they do classes and all different stuff like that. Now we we aren't uh, we aren't uh, shall we say privy to the gym. We uh, we're, we're very well known in the restaurants, but yeah, not so much the gym. We can't tell you much about that. We're experts on the buffet, but not the gym. Right, so this glass bit here is the gym, and then there is a running and a walking track. Uh, it does tell you how long, 0.2 of a mile. So if you want to do some outdoor running as well, but then as well on here on deck 16, you've got a couple of long, kind of elongated hot tubs. You've got, uh, technically the cinema screen is on deck 16, but then after that, that way is uh, the yacht club, which we are not in the yacht club because we are not rich. So unfortunately, we cannot show you the yacht club, but we'll show you everything else other than the yacht club. Right. Okay. So we're still on deck 16 now, and we're going into the indoor tropical pool. So you've got like a big indoor swimming pool in here, like some jacuzzis. There's one right there, dotted about, and you've also got a ping pong table here. So Kev demonstrating his skills to. There was nobody to hit it back. That's unfair. Not gonna get the ball now. <laughs> but yeah, we've had uh, we've had like so much fun on here. So this again is all free. It's just a case of you know, if the bat and ball are available on the table, then you're good to go and have a game. But we've come up here like after dinner and the evening before yes. we've like headed to entertainment. It's really quiet up here then, and we just yeah. had like a game of the uh, ping pong table. I've been a sore loser having a go at the. Um, Football tables, foosball. I hate this game. <laughs> but yeah, we've had a go with this. And again, there's, there's no charge for this. It's all um, it's all completely free. And there's like three of those. So then this is the bottom part of deck 15 tropical bar. So you've got two more hot tubs and the pool. These hot tubs tend to be a bit more busy because everybody forgets about the two on the floor above. And I like the two on the floor above as well because they are kind of like hanging out a bit more over the ocean so you and you've got a glass roof so you are still like getting the sun it's just the fact that uh, you know it's a bit quieter up there so it is a better view with the cinema screen like I say over that part they do have some games on in the day and stuff uh, they have movies on there at night and then we're taking a closer look they have got these like sunbeds padded sunbeds around the pool I'm guessing you could oh no you can't go straight in the pool so say you know safety warning there don't try and jump straight in off the sunbed you'll break an ankle so on deck 15 as well just at the back of the pool is the marketplace buffet so as you walk in the buffet they've got hand washing stations on the left and the right they do ask you to wash your hands which i like and at the moment, I don't know if it's permanent, they are dishing the food out, which I also like because nobody's been like pecking all the good bits out. Uh, we won't go in there now. We've been in there a few times on our free food videos, including food videos. So if you want to check that out, go back and watch that one. Right, so now we're on deck seven, right at the back of the boat. This is the Carousel Lounge. This is MSC's uh, like premium paid for shows ev event. Area, stage, thingy? The doors are open, I'm surprised they let you in, so we're literally like on the stage. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we watched this show last night. Apparently this show, this stage has been designed by um, Cirque du Soleil, so the yeah. events manager guy was telling us. Really recommend the shows, but 
it's nine pound before you board. If you leave it till you get on the ship, the fifteen pound each. So and the fifteen percent charge as well for some yeah. reason. So I wish we'd boot one, which I highly recommend. But I wish we'd boot the other one. But oh well, we know for next time. But also, you do get a free cocktail or non-alcoholic yes, cocktail yeah. with it as well. They're just on this bar as you walk in. But these are all screens they use in the show. There was people running along these screens on wires. These stages come up. They've got like a. A Cirque du Soleil style kind of like winch that comes down and we had a great seat right we really sat there yeah these I these didn't, I didn't realize there was windows. I didn't these no. blinds were down we sat right there so highly recommend getting in here we come in here it opens yeah. off now really get in get these seats right here get a better shot of them right here that's where we sat because all the it's like center stage this is where the props were kind of like facing forward so last night when we watched the show they would go we would go traveling through the bay of biscay and i've got to say now being here these performers have got the hardest job on the ship because this is right at the back and it's rocking now because as you can see yeah. going through it and they were like say they were juggling they were balancing things so it must have been really hard when can you feel it now like yeah. really it's really rocking now yeah. so great job guys and then walking to the front of the ship now still on deck seven out of the carousel lounge You've got the casino, not big gamblers, but uh, over there you've got your table games, blackjack and roulette and stuff like that. And for you smokers, you can actually smoke in the casino, they allow it. I'm so. not sure if it's all of it, or I have seen, I think there was a smoking area around this bit, but you've got all your slot machines. Yeah, I've just seen an ashtray over Ah, uh, yeah. I thought it was this area. Yeah. So yeah, you can um, smoke in parts of it as well. You've got all your, your weird, multi-line games that I don't understand. I like the bar in here, if we get past this post. You've got the, all the tallies inside so you can sit around and watch a sports event if there's football on, maybe a World Cup or something. But Stacey likes this. Yeah, it's a good one. Anything with lights, she's like a magpie. She likes shiny things. And then just past the casino, you've got the champagne bar. Now it is both sides of this part. So champagne bar is over there, and it's also over here, but also over this part as well. You can have some uh, fresh seafood. They have oysters and stuff. Uh, that, by the way, is made of chocolate. They've got a chocolate tea shop, we'll show you when we get there, but the chocolate work is amazing. But yeah, that's normally filled with oysters and crab legs and all kinds of things like that. And then you've got a nice view. Say, and once again, the magpie comes out in Stacy. The Schwaski crystal steps. She loves these. I think apparently each one of these steps is thirty thousand euros. And they have, um, yeah, they, yeah, that's what they said. And then they have a professional photographer most evenings, especially on elegant evening, and you can take like your nice photos on the shiny steps yeah they've got photographers everywhere and then there is a photography lounge we'll show you that and then where yes. you can look at your photos now just a heads up this is il campo this restaurant here we won't go in it's not been open you can walk through there's just tables in there there's a kitchen in there and it's not a restaurant so i don't know whether it's because the ship is not busy enough but just ignore that and then you've got, uh, just to the side of the champagne bar, you've got an Effie, uh, the gallery. I think this one's the jewellery shop. Uh, yeah, we haven't got enough money for that. We've spent enough money going on this cruise. But then walking past the uh, champagne bar, this is where your restaurants are. Most of your paid restaurants are along here. And can I just say, we didn't spend enough money coming on this cruise, because if you watch our embarkation video, we say how much it actually costs for be on this gorgeous ship. So go back and watch that because as we're showing you around now, you see how much we've actually paid be on here. It is unbelievable. Yeah, so here's your paid for restaurant. Like I say, on deck seven, this is Butcher's Cut. So this is like a high-end kind of steak restaurant. You can also come in here for breakfast and lunch as well. Just show you inside quick. It's a very nice lounge. Like I say, all you cut to order steaks. There's your kitchen, you can see them cooking it as well. We haven't been this one. We did on we did a steak on the Iona. Can't do two steaks <laughs> too quickly together because we weren't on there very long ago. But then this is a uh, Kato. This is the Teppanyaki restaurant. We haven't done this yet. 
at the time of filming the ship tour, but this video will go out before the ship tour. So I'm really looking forward. Yeah, we're doing to this tonight. That. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> as you can just see inside, there's your like teppanyaki grill, and you're all sitting around it. I'm really looking forward to this. This this restaurant is the one I've been looking forward to yeah, the most. Yeah, I've wanted to try. I've wanted to do teppanyaki for a while, and we haven't had the chance. And then just past there, you also have a, a sushi bar, the Kato sushi bar. Uh, this is normally filled with all salmon and fresh fish, and they make it in front of you here. You can see them making it. So this area is probably nice to come and sit up during the day. It's a lot quieter during the day, which you get to like the evening time. All this up here is really, really busy. Like people head up here, don't they? So yes. Especially down here as we go towards the pub. But yeah, if you want a nice, if you want it more nice and quiet, enjoy looking down at like the shopping gallery. Just come up during the day. So yeah, as Stacey was saying, you've got the pub, the master of the sea. Now this does extra food as well. They do uh, pub food, so a burger. They've got fish and chips, cheeseburger. They've got a hot dog. I mean, the prices are really good actually. When you think it's like two pounds fifty for a hot dog, four pounds for fish and chips. But I'm just going to say this. Yesterday on the buffet, there was fish and chips and mushy peas. So yeah. I'm not saying come and spend four pound, but it is on the buffet. The, the, it has been on the buffet, but this is always busy. This is like I've never seen an empty table in here. I'll show you inside quick. Look, it's like a proper old-fashioned kind of pub. You got the bar with all your beers on tap. All your, your little tallies above the bar, but no, this is packed every single night, and the, the tables outside are as well. So right at the front on deck seven is the MSC Aurea Spa. This is uh, where you've got your barbers, your hair salon, you can get facials, massages, and uh, make sure you check out your magazine for any offers or on the app. I think I've seen the offers on the app as well. Yeah, because they have some like say good deals on the magazine. I was thinking of maybe, I think next time on a cruise, I'm going to enjoy like, maybe have something done in the spa, like a facial or a massage or something. I haven't this time, but I think next time I would. So I'm just coming away from the spa now, there's a lot of people at night just standing on here because at night down there in this party the whole way like they do have silent discos in here and they have activities going on so you do get a lot we've stood up here and watched people doing silent discos and stuff like that and then you've got the screen above like they have shows on this screen they use it they did it on uh, Gaul and I, when the captain stood on this middle uh, gangway here and talked, they put like fireworks on it and stuff. Dude, I really, really like the TV screen. This um, down there when we go to men, that is that is my favourite part of the ship, and it was the first place we walked when we boarded the ship, and it was just that initial like, wow, it was, it was so just, grand, it was so incredible. Yeah, it's just we've spent a lot of time walking up and down there, it's, and it is my favourite part. Yeah. And then just behind Stacey is it's called the TV studio and bar. I don't know why it's called the TV studio, because it's not got TVs in it. Well, it's got one big one, but like, they have a lot of, um, okay, it's got a few more above. We didn't see these when we walked through because they were playing, uh, they called it, was it Barmy Bingo or something like that? Where they had like a bingo and everybody was screaming for get extra prizes and yeah. stuff like that. They had karaoke. karaoke that was the one. Oh no. I never noticed that it was like a big screen. I thought it was a projector. Well, that's a good screen, that is. I'd like to watch the football on there. So right at the front of boat, on deck six, you've got Le Grand Theatre. This is where your free evening shows are. Uh, at the moment, it's seven and nine o'clock showings. Uh, these are good, but they're not as good as your paid for ones. It's like a house kind of, it's more like a theatre-y kind of West Endy kind of one. Stacey's just trying to see if we can't, we haven't seen one, and I don't think there is one, a laundrette. No, there isn't. There's a paid for one where they left us a slip in the room it's last like night. Room I think it was like, yeah, I think it was like fifty pound, and they washed and folded, not ironed, forty items for you. But I don't think there's facilities where you wash it yourself. If you're only here for two weeks, you know, yeah, you have your knickers out on the balcony. Or you can hand wash your knickers. Or hand wash. I was thinking yeah. more shirts. Just be careful when you're eating your tea. Or if the cabs knock them against the uh, wall. That, what? Hi. Eh? Oh, Hi. Hi. And then you've got the gallery of virtuosa. But we'll just turn to his right quick. You've got a boutique shop, sells uh, clothes, you know, your more designer clothes. It's got Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Paul and Shaw, 
or morning. So if you're feeling, you know, a little bit flush, maybe you've had a win in the casino, you want a new uh, coat or purse or something, that's the place to go. And then you've got a little lounge bar just over there. They do have acts on there all the time. We've seen singers and stuff like that going on, little bands. Once again, you've got more uh, shopping over there, glasses and bags and all that kind of stuff. Now, this is one of our favorite places to just come and smell. Might sound weird, but the Jean-Philippe chocolatier place. I mean, all these are made out of chocolate. We watched them make this one yesterday. This like half dead kind of looking fish. We watched them make it there all day. They were at it to team four. But all these are all made out of chocolate. It's absolutely amazing. Now, the chocolate smells delicious. And also, uh, you can have bars of chocolate personalised for an event or an occasion and uh, you just do them over there on the touch screen ever so simple it's actually from Las Vegas the chocolate company itself isn't it yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah there's all chocolate um, oh yeah I, wonder, I was going to say maybe that's for Wimbledon it does look like it's got a W on it that was, the, that was in there the other day it was. That's the first time, was it? Yeah, I remember it because I thought it's a bit weird because uh, the rest was fish and then I've only just clicked in because you said about Wimbledon. But they've got all, you know, chocolates and cookies and sweets to buy. Now, they're not cheap, but it, it should be really good considering it's all made on the boat. You can have um, all these bars over here personalised with names and all stuff on. You can add extra sweets to them. They've got um, macarons and chocolates to buy. They've got a cafe just at the back where you can make uh, hot chocolates and iced coffees and spirity coffees and all different and again, ones. the seats over there are always quiet in the evening and they've got like the big circle looking out the at the port water. Hole. So yeah, the porthole. So a great place to sit and look out at the ocean. Now one nice touch, if you're after like a souvenir that you could eat, is they've got these Jean-Philippe uh, Virtuoso boats. I mean, the detailing on them. You wouldn't want eating. I know, but the detail is amazing. These are £18.70 each, and it says they are chocolate chips with praline. They weigh quite a lot, they're not hollow. So uh, if you're after a nice souvenir, we might buy one of them, but it won't probably get off the ship. And then across from the chocolate place, you've got Ola, Tacos and Cantina. We highly recommend the all you can eat. We've done a video on that, so go and watch that if you're interested. That is a must do on this ship for 18 pounds each. It is a must. You've also got a Jean-Philippe crepes and gelato, where you can have all your ice creams and fresh made crepes and smoothies and coffees and all different things. Um, just as a rough, a crepe is with Nutella is five pound 20. So, you know, not too bad. I think we've paid more for that at the Trafford Centre. And then you've got your excursions desk. If you're looking to book some excursions, you've got a luxury plaza with uh, watches and more watches and more watches. We don't, I don't know anything about watches. I don't understand why they're so expensive, but that's where you go for your watches. Then you've got the shopping gallery just there. That's where you can get your perfume and they do some electricals, they do speakers and stuff. They've also got some chocolates and bits like that, you know, M&Ms and Pringles. So if you're after like a few little sweet treats while you're on, oh, you can also buy bottles of alcohol, but I don't think you can buy these to uh, drink on the ship. I think they give them you after, but there's all your sweets. And like I say, you've got a speaker here. The speakers are always going. And there's your perfume over there. And then you've got an extra paid for restaurant here. I think it's Indochine. I'm guessing that's how you say it. It's an Indonesian French restaurant. So I'd say this is an extra paid for one. I think that's just over there. And then you've got another little bar just here with some art. It says it's Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein art. Once again, just like the watches, I don't know anything about art, but we do like this one. Is this the Andy Warhol yeah, bit? Yeah. It says over there Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein yeah. or something. Yeah, that's cool. I wouldn't like to think how much it was. 
And then in the atrium on deck six, you've got your MSC <laughs> shop. Uh, Stacey's just informed me this is only open on sea days, but you get all your little, you know, bits and bobs. I don't think you can buy the big ship, but you can buy a little one. There's MSC branded clothes, uh, you know, gifts, magnets and stuff. Have you got some Lego? Oh, mascot I mentioned earlier. Yeah, Stacey's favourite little mascot. <laughs> you got uh, There's a Lego virtual ship, I might buy that. You can get lanyards and all stuff like that, so if you want some MSC branded stuff, here's the place to go. And then you've got your photo gallery, so all your photos that the professionals have been taking, you can just come here uh, and you can look at them yourself. They've got touch screens. We're not going to go in because uh, we're not going to show you our awkward photos. And nobody needs to see our ugly mugs any more than you already have. So, yeah, if they do packages and stuff, so just have a look. There's your cruise card point. We did explain that in the embarkation video. So, if you want to know how that works, go watch that one. I'm not explaining it to you again. Also, on deck six, you've got the Starship Club. This is like your gimmicky kind of cool place where you can get a, a cocktail made by a robot he'll uh, make it in front of you and serve it to you I've not actually seen anybody have one of these yet I'm not sure the price I think are they about £15 oh, he's, he's not. well I hope you were better at making drinks then just in between the Starship Club and the photo place is your main dining restaurants. And then at the back of Deck 6, you've got three of your four main dining rooms, the Opera, the Symphony, and the Minuetto. Where in the Minuetto, you uh, get allocated a seat and a time. Uh, I think if you're above where Ballet, our class is, I think if you're above that, you get uh, free dining, so you can eat where you want, when you want, but we're always in a Minuetta restaurant and uh, it's just nice to walk around this bit because you've got the lights and the wine bottles. I'm guessing very expensive wine. We don't really know anything about wine. Now we won't show you in these now. We've shown you inside and the food on the free and included food video. So if you're interested in them, don't watch that one. Let's walk down the shiny steps and show you the last bit of deck five well, this is like another little lounge area they have musicians on here at night you've got a future cruise booking station over there so yeah this is your future cruise station if you've loved your cruise so much that you want to book another one there's your place to do it they've got another excursions area there uh, with touch screens but i don't think the touch screens were working they told us last time we came down here You've got your infinity reception guest services. So any problems, just come down here. This is where we came and just randomly asked how many people were on board. And they told me straight away. He didn't even have to search it. He knew it was like 2,400, I was like, thank you very much. And then just over here, you've got the infinity bar. You can get, get some snacks there as well. You've got a few pastries and stuff to add. So yeah, another little bar. There's plenty of seating areas. You will never go short. And then the last part of deck five at the back, this is the other restaurant we mentioned when we were upstairs showing you the other ones. Now I'm calling this the Blue Danube. That's how I read in it. I forgot to say, yeah, so everything on the Virtuoso, the, the names of everything, the deck floors, the restaurants, they're all related to music. Because I know, I believe the word Virtuoso is something music related in Italian. So, like you say, that's why there's in the restaurant there's like pianos on the carpet and yes. things like that. And so it's, everything is just like music, musical related. Look out for the single lift doors on each of the floors. Uh, it's roughly in the middle. So we're currently on deck five and it's just by the bar because this is your glass lift. This is the best lift to go in. There's one on each side of the boat, apparently. Although we haven't found the other one, even though it's directly across the boat. And we only discovered this from the outside of the ship when we got off one day. We didn't think it had any glass lifts. And we were looking like up at the ship when it was in the port. And we were like, oh, it's actually got a glass lift. So when we got back on, we were like, we're going to find it. And we did. So if you come on, on deck five, we'll try and show you quick before it moves. They've got these two, like, um, oh, they've got these two <laughs> MSC virtuosa kind of coin ceremony coins and it says there 
San Nazir, 27th of February 2019. Maybe that's when it was commissioned or, or finished or being built or something. Yeah. We're not sure because this is still only our second cruise. Oh, wait a minute. We forgot to press the button. We'll take you all the way up. <laughs> so we'll go to deck we're 15. We're in the lift and we're going nowhere. But there's your view. So that that's overlooking the Bay of Biscay. That's where the captain says we were going through this morning. Yes. That's why it's a little bit choppy. Yes, because we're just on our way to uh, La Havre from La Coruña in La Spain. Coruña, yeah. So there's your there's your tour of the glass lifts. And so we only did that for you. So we're now going back down to our level, level ten. Because it's quite a quick lift and it's a very smooth lift. Deck 10. We'll just show you the hallways really quickly and just uh, go back to the room and finish the video. And this is where you're like, which way? This way? Yes, that left. Way. That way. And then left on this side, aren't we? Yes. Oh, and we've also been to the shop, but you don't need to see that. Ah, here we are. This our room. Lovely and clean. But we don't need to show you this because we've got a separate room tour video. Make sure you go and watch that one. So that's it now with the ship tour. Hope you found it informative. <laughs> Hope you liked it, yeah, yeah, because it really is. I like say I keep saying it, but it really is a beautiful ship. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll, when the time comes to get off it, I'm going to be really sad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a stunning ship mm -hmm. with such wonderful staff yes they are absolutely amazing they, yeah. could, they just couldn't do enough for you no yeah anything you need just ask and they, they'll go out of the way and they're so great we've got literally nothing bad to say about it no i no. can't think of anything bad we will be doing um a thorough like review when we get back just like a hints and tips video kind of thing mm -hmm. where we'll go into stuff like more yeah. detail there but on the whole like you just said I there's really nothing that we could it would really be nitpicking if we had to. That, yeah, that would yeah. be like proper nitpicking, like which we'll cover in the you know we'll yeah. cover in the review. But even then, it's like and like I said, they mention it, but watch the embarkation video because I won't go into detail about who we booked with and what we paid. No, oh, yeah, but yeah. Go it's watch that one, one of the cheapest holidays we've ever had. Yeah, it's up there yeah. with one of the best. Yeah. Which do you know what I mean? Is just is unbelievable. No, but uh, yeah. So go back and watch those videos. Yeah. Subscribe to watch. The next lot of videos. I was going to say because everything we've shown in the ship tour, we have gone into a bit more deal with, into De more detail with, with a separate video. Yes. Yeah. So where we've said we've eaten that speciality restaurant, we've then done a video on that, yeah. so it's a bit more in detail. Otherwise, this video will be about four hours. Because it's a big ship. But any questions or anything you want to ask us yep. about the ship, um, we'll try our very best to answer these. We're not experts on everything, but we'll you know we haven't tried every single thing on here, but we've tried a lot of it. We'll yep. try our best to answer any questions that you've got for us about yep. it so exactly so i sure. highly recommend coming on here for yes, sure yes definitely so like we said before subscribe yes leave us a comment mm -hmm. smash that like button yeah whatever else and we will see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>